Good morning everyone, Nick Narzinski here with D3 Technologies for our CAM Newsletter Tech Tip and today we're going to take a look at using 3D operations for prismatic parts and what I mean by that is prismatic, this part could be done with basically all 2D toolpaths, however it's a lot quicker and more efficient to use the 3D operations so this is actually one of the examples that comes with Fusion and you'll notice in here they've got a facing, then they've got a 2D adaptive followed by a 2D pocket, and then followed by a 2D contour. And you can see there with the contour, we're cutting a lot of air over here after the material's already been removed, trying to put this all into one operation. So instead, let's take a look at how you can use the 3D operations. So I'm going to go 3D adaptive clearing, come into the tool library, let's do tool number four, our eight millimeter flat. Mill, and then I'm going to say from previous operations for rust machining so that is not available in the 2d operations but this is going to let us look at the previous facing operation which is in here and then the next thing I want to do is go to the passes tab and right now it's got a maximum roughing step down of uh, almost 400,000 so I'm going to change that to the flute length of the tool so I'm going to pull that straight from the, the definition of the tool library so I know the parameter of that for that is tool underscore flute length hit enter and I'm going to drag that up just below the facing operation and regenerate control G and there you can see we now roughed out the center pocket as well as this pocket the open pocket over here and then all of the outside geometry here all within one operation so then I want to follow that up with a 3D contour as my finishing operation for these walls. So for that, I'm going to go in there. And again, I'm going to drag that. Well, I'll drag it after I generate it. So I'm going to go back into the tool library, select my 6mm flat. Geometry tab, I'm just going to leave this to silhouette, so it's going to be looking at the entire part. That's the advantage to using those 3D operations over the 2D. 2D, you really have to go in and select everything, versus 3D looks at the actual model as a whole. So here, I'm going to change. Let's do a maximum step down of 100 thousandths. And I'm going to say minimum diameter, 6 millimeters. That's going to avoid all these holes inside the part. And then I'm also going to go in here and just say avoid touch surface because I know that this is larger than a six millimeter. I don't want it to go in and try to bore those holes. I'm going to use a boring operation to do that. So with those settings and I might also go in there and just change the ramping. I don't need the helix down since that material has already been removed. So I'm going to change that to plunge on the linking tab. Let it calculate and there you have it. And you can see how much more efficient that is looking at the entire model as a whole rather than going off of the heights of the 2D operations. And then you can just drag that up and you're ready to move forward. So whether you're using an uh, HSM works, uh, Inventor HSM or Fusion 360, really look at and think about using those 3D toolpaths as opposed to the 2D ones whenever you're looking at your parts. Hope this helps guys.